This week from Mom's Cookbook Collection, sorry for the background glare when I started this episode. It was dark and rainy. Five minutes later, it's bright and sunny. Welcome to New England. Well, we're going to be taking a recipe from Betty Crocker Step-by-Step -Step Recipes. General Mills, copyright 1976. This is a wonderful collection of recipes, various topics. We've got split shift specials, make your own mixes, shelf service, nature's bounty. One Dish Wonder, Celebrations, Cooking for Keep. Now, I'm not sure if Mom made any of these recipes, but there's some great things in here, so I hope to be drawing on this in months to come. But today, we're going to be modifying one of the recipes. We're going to be modifying one of the meat stretcher recipes. This is a pizza porcupine patties. Now, what, what I'm going to be adding to this is some... Um, additional vegetables and I will be also adding some Bisquick dough. I'm going to make it into more of a batter and I am going to put each of the individual meat patties into the Bisquick dough to form a, a pizza dough. Kind of a, a pizza, yeah, a pizza dough. So might as well go full blown on, on the pizza theme. The ingredients. One eight ounce can of tomato sauce. One six ounce can of tomato paste. One pound of ground beef. One half cup of uncooked rice. Two tablespoons of canned green chilies. One cup of chopped red peppers. One quarter teaspoon of garlic salt. One quarter teaspoon of dried oregano leaves. One and a half teaspoons approximately two cubes of instant beef bouillon. One cup of boiling water. Four ounces of Fiesta blend cheese. One and a half cups of Bisquick mix. And two thirds cup of milk. Heat the oven to 350 degrees. Mix the eight ounces of tomato sauce the ground beef, the rice, the chili, the garlic salt, and the oregano. Shape into six patties, one half inch thick. Meanwhile, mix the Bisquick powder and the milk to form a batter. Pour the batter into a casserole dish. Place the six patties into the batter. Bake uncovered for 15 minutes. Dissolve the instant bouillon in the boiling water. Stir in the tomato paste. Remove the patties from the oven. Spoon the tomato sauce over the patties. Sprinkle with cheese. Bake till the cheese is melted, about five minutes more. Well, I gave it about 40 minutes. That last five minutes was just to let the cheese melt right on there. And then after I pulled it out, I put even more cheese on it because, mm, just love that cheese. Also, I added about a cup of milk to the Bisquick. I wanted to get it a little bit more, um, a little bit more fluid, a little bit less doughy, uh, more battery. And um, it, the whole thing worked. I mean, it, it doesn't so much form into patties. It, the meat did kind of spread out a little bit and the Bisquick did kind of bubble up. So it's, um, it's, it's got that, that pizza quality to it. The meat looks like the meat's thoroughly cooked. Let's see what we got. Mmm. Quite good. The rice was thoroughly cooked. It absorbed all the juices. This recipe was from Betty Crocker's Step-by-Step -Step Recipes. And this was originally called Pizza Porcupine Patties. I added a lot of uh, ingredients to it, including the uh, Bisquick dough to form kind of a, a crust, make it more like a pizza. And this particular section was from the meat stretcher section. This recipe was a winner.